All right, so uh, for anyone who was wondering about the ridge line, you know, we got it right here, just chilling. We got most of this stuff all back together. Uh, it all runs and everything's good. I got to put a little transmission fluid in it before we continue on, but um, it's pretty much ready to have fenders on it. We, we're going to be getting a new front bumper and a new hood, so we're still waiting on that stuff. But um, right now we're... I've actually just got on Craigslist and in a few days I should be going to look at a ridge line for this section of the car. You can kind of see like it's pretty bad and the gap right there is pretty, I don't know, that's not horrible but you can tell it's like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's, you can almost fit a finger in here but up here you can't even so and you can kind of tell all the way down here everything's kind of out of whack you know we need a new bumper because this thing's like chewed up and like the new inner fender and like this is yeah this is all gotta we gotta drill all this out and uh get this outer skin off and see if there's any damage uh you know, let's take this off we gotta see if there's any damage you can kind of see up here too like it's pushed up right here the other side is almost flush but this is this is pushed up up here so I, I think this whole skin has just been pushed up and like you can see like right through here is is really bad you know the door is completely dinged in it kind of got into uh, the uh, quarter I don't know if that's what it's actually called but you get you see what it is uh, but this whole thing you know you can kind of see a little bit of the inner structure there and it doesn't look bent but you can see it just sheared all this this metal up here so we'll have to we'll have to just drill all this out and this whole section comes off from like here and here all the way back this is all like one one outer shell so you know once we get the once we get the shell from the other car which we hopefully do in the next couple days, if, as long as the part's good and there's no dents or anything hor well that significantly wrong with it, we can pick it up and I can weld it on there and uh, start getting this one off. We don't want to start it without the piece because as soon as we take this off, that door probably won't want to close and we don't want to let bu or bugs or or cats or rats or anything to get in the interior because the interior is still really nice and uh, so everything's really good on the truck I mean once we get all these parts put on and, and get this sorted out it'll be a good truck uh, we also got the doors right here they're just hanging out uh, these parts are we're not gonna use because uh, that's the wrong bumper we we got because it doesn't have the uh, fog lights and uh, this fender's got rust on it and uh, down there is really bad like uh, where the bolt goes so we're just gonna get a new fender and this thing's got little things in it everywhere little dings and and uh, it's, it would just be uh, a lot more work to get that uh, that stuff to actually work with what we already have so we're just gonna get rid of those, all these parts and order a new front rear uh, front and rear bumper and um, we already have the new tail lights for it I think uh, I think they're all in here yeah there's a bunch of parts in the back seat I'm not sure if you can see it or not actually you can see it better no you can't see it at all but we got a bunch of parts in there but um, yeah, that's pretty much the update for the ridge line. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that because that's going to be coming up real soon. As soon as we get the parts, um, I'll start recording everything on this. Um, yeah, so that'll pretty much wrap it for the update on the ridge line. So I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one.